Hey guys, we want to welcome you to the Belly Off Bodyweight Series DVD. Before we get started, I'm David Jack, and I'd like to introduce you to your team for today. We have Jeremy Shore, and we have Rainy Davis. So if you guys are ready, we're going to start with a warm-up. Nice and easy first exercise is going to be big shoulder rolls, thumbs pointed backward, and we're going to start it off. Go ahead. Just let them float, swinging from the shoulder. We're going to switch to forward and go. Point those thumbs toward the front of the room. Big swings. And now we're going to change backward with little swings. And go. Good. So we got tight little circles here. And then we're going to transition to forward and go. So we're just getting a little warmth in the shoulders as we get started. A couple more here. And now we're going to move into knee hugs. So we're just going to stand tall. You guys are going to start by lifting your left leg toward your chest, really balancing on that down leg, stabilizing through your core. Here we go. Lift, return. Good. Excellent. Nice. Just pull that up. Focus on the core. It's really good for stabilizing on the down foot. And I got to focus. Good job. Now we're going to stretch our quads out. So you're going to start by lifting your left leg. We're going to stretch our thighs. And here we go. Take your time here. Push your hips through to get the stretch here. And we'll alternate. Good. We're going to do a few more of these. Last two. Got to focus on the core. Use the arm to balance if we need it. Excellent. Next stretch is called the waiter's bow. Jeremy's going to show you guys a variation where he'll have his hand on his back to make sure that you have a normal curve in your spine that's important so we don't hurt our back and we really get the stretch in our hamstrings. Set your feet underneath your hips. We can bring our arms up and we're going to go ahead and push our backside away from us and go. That's it. Nice, easy stretch. If you can get a little deeper each time, that's great. Keeping the knees straight is really going to help us open up those hamstrings and the low back. Good. One more. There we go. Good job. So now we're going to open our feet a little bit. Feet will be a little wider than our shoulders. We're going to do a Y squat. So let's take our arms overhead. We're going to form a Y with our hands. We're going to sit down and back, staying up tall. And here we go. Excellent. Weight is toward your heels. And if we can keep those arms by our ears, we're really going to free up those hips, our back. This is going to help us for the strength exercises we have to come. That's it. Last one. We're going to go to the floor now. We're going to open our chest, and we're going to fire our back and our shoulders with a neat little series starting with a Y. So we're going to put your arms up and out in front of you in the shape of a Y. Thumbs will be toward the ceiling. We're going to lift our arms from our shoulder blades. And here we go. Up. And down, up and down. Good. Keep those toes on the floor. Make believe like there's an orange between your shoulder blades. And you're going to try to squeeze it to make juice. Good. Two more. The last one. We bring our arms out to the side. Thumbs stay pointed toward the ceiling so we form a T. And we're going to repeat again. Ready? Go. Lift, down, up, down. Good. It's a small movement. If you're gazing out to take a look at me, if you feel comfortable, why don't you just look at the floor, tuck your chin, just to keep your neck safe in these exercises. Last one here. And now let's bring our arms out to the side, palms down. We're going to do a V. Here we go. Lifting from the shoulders and up, down, up, down. So this, once again, it's just a great stretch in our chest. And it's perfect for our shoulder blades and our shoulders. Nice. We have two more. Last one. Great. Arms come out in front of us, palms down. I'm going to show you this exercise first. You're just going to sweep your hands back toward your backside, palms up, and then return to the front. Big sweeping movements. Ready? Go. And forward. Back and forward. We call this a reverse snow angel. Good, guys. Tuck that chin. Keep those hands off the ground. Toes on the floor. Three more. Two more. Last one. 
Excellent. We're going to come right up into a push-up position. And I'm going to show you this exercise as well. You're just going to take one of your legs. You're going to drive it up towards your hand. Try to keep your back knee straight so we can stretch open this hip, this hip flexor. And then we're going to reach that inside arm that's toward the leg to the ceiling. Get a good stretch. We'll return to the floor and alternate. So if you're ready, here we go. Foot up. Reach. Return. And back. Alternate. Up. Reach. Return. And back. Good job. So we're keeping a nice straight body line here. Really concentrating on that back leg being straight. When we extend that arm up, we push through the down arm. Good, we have two more. And we really try to get length between the up hand and the down hand. Excellent. We're gonna come up to our feet. We're going to do an exercise that we love. It's a combination. We'll do a reverse lunge into a hamstring swing. So if you guys want to step back with your left foot, we're going to do five reps on each side. And here we go. Back and up. Back and up. Control in. Good. Last one. Excellent. We're going to switch now. Other side and go. Back. Up. Good. Let that leg float toward the ceiling. Last one. Great job. You guys have finished the warm-up. Let's get ready for the two-minute drill. All right, it's the two-minute drill. We have eight exercises that we're going to do for 15 seconds each. First one's a jumping jack. Ready? Go. So you guys can do the two-minute drill as fast as you want, as hard as you want, or as easy as you want. We just want you to get warmed up and ready to go. Got three, two, one, and we're going to move into skips. So you're going to drive your left knee toward the sky and go. Good. Hot floor. Toes are pulled up towards your shins. Drive those elbows back. That's it, guys. Let's get that heart rate up. Next exercise is going to be a high knee run. In three, two, one, and high knee run, go. The higher you drive your knees, the harder this exercise gets. If you're just getting warm, you can keep them down and crank it up as you feel ready. Excellent. Next exercise will be side to side hops. Just start moving to your left in two, one, and go. Good. You draw an imaginary line right between your body, and you're gonna jump over it, back and forth. Hot floor, keep those feet moving. We're gonna transition to the ground, into push-ups. Rainy has a modification for you if you're not quite ready for a full one. And let's go to the ground. Push-ups, go. Flat back, strong core, all the way down, all the way up. Come on, guys. Drive through this. It's meant to get your heart rate up. It's meant to work your whole body. We're gonna roll over onto our backs for crunches next. In two, one, here we go. On our backs, heels toward our backside, hands across our chest, and we're gonna crunch up to the sky. Ready, go, up and down, up and down. You can wiggle that neck if you want, just to make sure there's no tension in there. We're squeezing that belly button down into our spine for four more seconds. Three, two, one, and now we're gonna switch back up top, push up position, mountain climbers. Drive your left knee to your left elbow, go. Good. Alternate those feet, tap those toes. The harder you drive your knees in and your heels out, the harder the exercise gets. Next exercise is a squat thrust. Rainy has a modification. If you're not ready for what I'm gonna do, Jeremy has something that's a little harder. So we're gonna come up to our feet, down, feet go out, in, stand. Ready, go. That's it. Good. Come on, push through. If you're ready for more, Jeremy's jumping. Gotta really get that heart rate up if you gotta back off. Rainy's just got to squat to stand. 
Last one. Good job. Two minute drill is finished. We'll see you in the circuits. Hey guys, body weight circuit number one. We have three exercises back to back. The first one is a shoulder press push up. Jeremy's gonna show you how to do it. Feet in the middle of the bench, so you're gonna put them up. Hands are gonna be underneath your shoulders so your shoulders are safe. You're gonna tuck your chin to make sure you don't hurt your neck. So just try to listen to my cues and don't look at me. Rainy has a modification for you if you're not quite ready for the shoulder press push up. So here we go, let's get our feet on the bench. Right in the middle, hands under our shoulder, and go. That's it. Good. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. Nice, nice. Come on, guys. We got three more. Last two. Last one. We're going to come up to our feet. Next exercise is a Bulgarian split squat. So you're going to step back with your left leg, put it on the bench. So let's go ahead and do that right in the middle of the bench. We want to hop that lead foot out further. And we're going to squat down, keeping a tall chest. Knee stays over our ankle. Ready? And go. Down, drive up. Good. All the way down. Keep our chest up. It's a great exercise to free up this hip and to work this whole leg here. Good. We have four more. Three more. Come on. Last one. Here it is. And then let's switch our feet. Take your time. Make sure you're safe. Let's put our foot up on the bench. Hop that other foot out in front, tall chest, and we go. Good. Draw that core in, staying nice and tall, pushing through the ground. Nice, guys. Stay with it. Good. We have two more. Next exercise is going to be a plank with a leg raise. So we're going to go to the ground, palms toward the floor. Jeremy has a modification that's a little more challenging. It's a knee drive. So if you're ready, let's get it set up. Draw in your abs, lock it in, and let's go ahead and raise your left leg. Go. And alternate. Good. You guys are looking toward the floor to protect your neck, and you're lifting from your backside, your glutes, not your foot. That's it. Come on. Here we go. We got two more. Last one. Let's stay here for a second on our knees, sit back toward our heels. Let's stretch it out. Catching our breath because we're going to go right into the next round. So go ahead, let's come up to our feet. Shoulder press push up. Here we go. Feet on the middle of the bench, hands under your shoulders, get those hips to the sky, and go. Good. Remember to tuck that chin and look at the floor. So we save our neck. Drive through, guys, drive through. Good. Come on, we got two. Last one. Good job. Back up to our feet. Step back with that left foot. Middle of the bench. Bulgarian split squat. We hop out, tall chest, and go. Come on now, dig down. Good, we're almost there. Good, press through the floor. Drive your head long and tall. Up toward the ceiling. Good. One more. All right, let's switch feet. Get set, be safe. Hop your foot out. Let's get tall and go. Good. Weights towards your heel. All your load is right here. Good, push through, push through, guys. Come on. We got two. Last one. Come on, we're almost there. Plank. Let's go. If you're ready, do the knee drives with Jeremy. So hop in the plank. Palms down. Lift the leg and go. Good. Draw those abs in. So you're going to pull your belly button up into your spine. You're lifting from your backside. Come on, guys. We're almost there. We got two, one, and rest here for a second. A little stretch. Excellent. Circuit one down. If you guys need to take a minute, we want you to come right back for circuit two.
Hey guys, body weight circuit number two. Once again, three exercises. We're going to perform them back to back. Get that heart rate up. First one is a T push up. So let's go to the ground. And you're going to do a push up, and then you're going to reach toward the sky with your hand, and then alternate to the other side. Rainy has a modification if you're not quite ready to do the push up through all of them or at all. So you guys go at your pace. So let's set it up and T push up, go. And reach. We're going to pull that belly button up into our spine so that we have a nice safe push up. And then it's just a little pause at the top. And we're going to fire those shoulder blades, our obliques, and our core. That's why we designed this push up like this. So it's not just for the chest, it's for our whole upper body. One more. Good job, guys. Let's stand up. We're going to do an exercise called the lateral lunge. So you're going to start moving to your left, toes pointing straight ahead, and we're going to go ahead. Down, drive up, and alternate. Toes are straight ahead, sitting back like there's a chair that's behind our heel. We keep that chest up because we want to open our hips up. So it gives us a really good stretch right in here. And we really want this exercise to work out here in our body. Good. Push through. That's it, guys. Come on, a few more here. Stay up, stay up. Control down. Push the floor away. We got three, two, last one. Excellent. Next exercise is a single leg Romanian deadlift. We want a flat back, abs in, working our hamstring. Jeremy has an, alter an alternative to this exercise if it's a little too hard for you to balance through this one. So here we go. Stand on your left foot. Single leg RDL, we call it, and go. Down and reach. The wobble's okay. It's our body trying to figure out how to balance, which creates stabilization in our ankle and all the way up. So if you have to tap the floor with your hand or your foot, go ahead and do that. We have two more. Last one. Excellent. Let's switch feet. And go. We reach down and up. Sometimes I find that if you touch earlier, you help your brain through the movement. And then you can transition into trying not to touch the hand or the foot. Keep that back flat. Little bend in the knee. Come on, last one right here. Here it goes. And up. Catch our breath. We're going to go back to the floor for that T push-up. So if you're ready, let's go down. Try to stay with us now. Let's challenge ourselves through this one. It's our last round. Set it up and go. Down, reach. Down, reach. Good. You're in it now. That's a good tempo. Come on, push through. You guys are going to be looking toward the floor because I don't want you to hurt your necks. I'm just looking at you so I can keep you going through this. Come on. Here we go. One more. Good, guys. We're almost there. Back to our feet. Into those lateral lunges. Moving to your left. Ready? Go. Wide step. Drive up. Drive up. If you guys want to squeeze your hands together, it's going to create stabilization in your shoulder blades and it's going to fire that chest a little bit. If you don't want to go there, just keep pushing through, relax, stepping wide, sitting deep, get that stretch through here, get that work through here. Good. Come on. We got three more. Push the top. Drive up. Come on, guys. Here it is. Feet underneath our hips. Single leg RDL. We're almost done. And left leg's down, go. And reach. And reach. Good. Pulling that belly button up in. Flat back. We try to come all the way up to top. Tapping if you need to. I want you to be safe, but I also would like you to challenge yourself so we can build that stability. I had to use my hand there. Last one, and it's okay. Switch feet, and we go. Down 
to top. Down to top. Good job, guys. Stay with us. Good. Come on. Here we go. Find your balance. Good. Working at your pace. Keep that flat back. Come on, last one. There it is, guys. We have finished circuit number two. Come back right away for the body weight 100. Hey guys, it's the Bodyweight 100, a series of exercises that's gonna get your heart rate up and work everything. First one is called the prisoner squat. So we're gonna set our feet a little bit wider, then our hips out toward our shoulders. Hands come up to the outside. Let's sit down and back for 20 and go. That's it. Push those hips back. Nice light touches here with your fingers so we're not pulling our neck forward. Sitting down, driving up. Good. Stay with it. Weights toward our heels. Knees stay over our ankles. We don't want them to go too far past our toes. Come on. Come on, here we go. We got three, two, last one. We're going to the ground. Wide push-ups. Rainy has a modification where she'll be on her knees for 10, then she's just gonna hold the plank for the last 10 if you need to stay with her. Ready? Go. Come on, draw that belly button up into your spine, all the way down, push the floor away from you. We're just gonna keep going. At any time, if you guys need to back out of this, your back pose, if it doesn't feel right, you just hold the top. Come on, push through. Here we go, that's it. Come on, here we go. Last two, here it goes, last one, excellent. Up top, we have some jumps. You don't have to go real high, soft on the floor. Get it set. Feet are gonna be underneath our hips, and go. Control that landing. Coming up. It's not a big movement, but it'll really get that heart rate going. Good. Two, last one, good job. Going on the ground. We're gonna do what we call back bridge. So let's get our legs straight, draw our belly button down to engage our core. Arms out to the side. We're gonna squeeze ourselves up, hold at the top, squeezing our shoulder blades, and return for five. Ready, and go. And down. Up, and down. Good, up, squeeze, and down. Up, squeeze, down, last one. Excellent, let's get up to our feet. <sighs> Exercise is a forward lunge. You're gonna step out with your left leg, push yourself back up the top. We're gonna alternate. Ready, go. Nice, guys. Step long, use your core to help brace the exercise. Good work. Flat foot in front. Weight is toward our heels. Come on, push through. Stay tall. Bring that chest away from your leg. Come on. Control down, push back to top. Last one. Come on, here we go, to the ground. Close grip push-up. Rainy's gonna modify it again from her knees, then she's gonna hold the last 10. Up top, strong through her core. Hands close together, set it up. 15, go. There you go, guys. Good, push through this. Keep those elbows pulled in toward your rib cage. Come on. You got your eyes toward the ground so we don't hurt our neck. Push through it. We're almost there. Come on. One more. Excellent. But stand up for a second. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. We're gonna stretch those triceps. Up and over, let it stretch. Find your breathing, let's trade. Good, relax your neck. Back to the other side. Good, pull it through, take your time. Bring your heart rate down. 
We're getting ready for this next round. Last two. We're going to go right into those prisoner squats. So we're going to set our feet wide. Let's bring our hands up. Come on, guys. Let's finish this. It's the last round. Come this far. 20 and go. Good. Push those hips back. All the way up to top. Flat feet. Weight toward our heels. That's it. That's it. You're doing great. Find a chair behind you. Trying to sit back to it. Good work. Come on. Come on. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And we're to the ground. Stay with Rainy. If you got to just back out of them, I know we're pushed now. Here we go. Wide push-ups and go. Come on, guys. We're feeling it up here, too. If you want to stay at the top, just hold there. I'm digging. Come on. Three, two, last one. Awesome. Up to these, up to these jumps. Here we go. Set our feet under our hips. We got 20. And go. Come on. Now we're in aerobic state, like we're going for a jog. So our heart rate's manageable, but our legs are gonna burn. That's good. Come on. Come on. Last two, last one. Excellent, on the ground. Back bridge, legs straight. Draw your abs in. Elbows out to the side. Let's push up and hold at the top. Ready, go. And down. Up and down. Good. Up and down. There we go, guys. Up and down. Good. Last one. And down. Beautiful. We're going up. Forward lunges. Last two exercises. Come on. Step out with that left leg and go. Push. We got to focus on our form now. We've done a lot of work. We're getting tired. Step long. Chest stays up. Slow it down. Let's find it. Come on. Good form. Good, guys. Good, guys. Push through. Tall chest. Let's go. Driving through that heel. Come on. Three, two, last one. Close grip push-ups. I know it's a bear. You do the modifications you need to get through this. Hands close together. I'm going to try to dig out 15. Ready? Go. Stay with us. You guys are so close to being done. Come on. Fight that burn. That burn is that belly fat disappearing. Those muscles coming out. Come on. I'm pushing it. Last one. Excellent. You guys just finished the Bodyweight 100. It's a total body workout we've just put you through. And it proves that you really can use your body weight as one of the greatest tools to train. See you soon. Hey guys, it's the power of 10. 10 exercises done back to back for 30 seconds each for a total body cardiovascular and strength workout. So here we go, we're gonna start with high knee runs. If you're ready, let's go. You're gonna go at your pace through this power of 10. If you wanna work harder, in this exercise, you just drive your knees up higher. Smash those elbows back, hot floor. Keep pushing, guys. Good. Balls of your feet, driving through the ground. Staying up nice and tall. We got less than 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's go down to the ground. We're going to do an exercise called an alternating knee drive. So we're going to get up in a push up position. You're going to drive your left knee to your right elbow. Ready? Go. That's it. Good. 
It's important on this exercise that we really keep a flat back, drawing that belly button into our spine. Toe taps. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Less than 10 seconds to go, guys. Less than 10 seconds. Push through, flat back. Stay with us. Three, two, one, and we're up to our feet. We're gonna do a split hold lunge. So you guys are gonna step back with your left leg. Go ahead, all the way down, chest up. We're gonna stay here, start to center our breathing. All the load comes here into our glute, here into our quad. We're long through our spine. We've designed this workout to bring your heart rate up and then let you bring it down as we work muscle a little bit more. It's really a great series, so stay here with us. Good, good. We got less than 10 seconds. Fight through it, fight through it. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to the ground. We're gonna do a core exercise called windshield wipers. So we're gonna bring our arms out to the side, shoulder blades stay on the floor. Let's go ahead and lift our knees up. We're gonna drop them away from your body to the side and go. And back. Good. The key to this exercise is really working from the front of your core, here in your abs, here in your obliques. That's what drives your legs over. That's what pulls them back. You will feel some tightness and abrasing in your low back, but we really want to use the abs to make it effective and safe. We got four seconds. Three, two, let's go last one here across. Good. Let's come back up the top. We got split hold lunge the other way. You're gonna step back with your right leg and we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Work that chest up. Here we go, settle. Knee is not past our toe. It's pulled back over our ankle. Load once again is right here into our glute. So if you guys can see this area, you should feel it here. You should feel it in your quad. Well, let's stay with this. Good. Come on guys, fight through, fight through. Stay right here with us. We got 10 seconds. Bring your heart rate down. I know this burns. It's so good for your nervous system, so good for your muscles and your connective tissue. In five, four, three, two, one. We're back to the ground. And we're gonna get in a push-up position and do mountain climbers. So you're gonna drive your left knee to your left elbow. Ready, go. Once again, guys, flat back. You want to make this exercise harder. You just drive your knees harder and extend your heels away from you with more force. Tapping those toes. Slow it down if you need to. Do this power 10 at your pace. We want you to try to keep increasing the intensity you work in here the more times you do it. Two, one. Great. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna get onto our back. We're gonna pull our heels toward our backside. We're gonna push our toes up towards our shin and we're gonna do a glute ham bridge. Hands down. We're gonna drive our hips up to the ceiling behind us. Ready? Go. Squeeze up, control down. Squeeze up, control down. Good. So this exercise wants to focus now. Glute, and it opens up this hip flexor on both sides, if we really get those hips up in the air, it'll really open those up for us. Good, come on guys. Bring your breathing down. Squeeze, return. Come on, four more seconds. Good. Let's do last one here, up. Great, we're gonna move to our feet. So let's get up top. We're gonna do a line run. So I want you guys to imagine that there's a line in front of your feet we're gonna run over and back. So if you guys are ready, let's set it up and go. Good. Come on, hot floor. Once again, the faster you move those feet, heart rate's gonna go up. Now we're gonna switch and lead with the other foot in four, three, two, one. Let's switch and lead with the other leg and go. There we go. So make believe that floor's really hot. You just want to get your feet off of it. 
Come on. Push through, guys. Four more seconds. Two, one, rest. Down to the ground again. We've got piston crunches. So let's lay back. We're gonna make a fist. We're gonna crunch our body up first, and then we're gonna reach to our heel with a fist, and then over to the other side with the fist. So if you're ready, let's crunch up, engage your abs, and now let's reach. Go. Reach and over. Reach and over. That's it. Relax your head. We don't want any tension in your neck. Good. It's a great exercise for our abs in the front here and our obliques on the side here. Just really concentrating on relaxing that neck. Push through. Heart rate's down. Breathe it down. Deep breaths in and out. Squeeze and pull. Three more seconds. Last one. Let's bring it over up into a push-up position. Now listen, guys, as many as you can do in 30 seconds. We might go at different paces. Rainy has a modification, so we're gonna set it up, and we're gonna get after it. Let's finish strong, and go. All the way up. I'm not worried about your reps to start. What I'm worried about is your form. Flat back, belly button's drawn into your spine. We're all the way down, we're all the way up. Good. Come on, guys. Push through. You modify anytime you need to. Come on, we're feeling it. We got a couple more seconds. Here we go. Last push up here to top. Great job. You guys have finished the power of 10. This is an amazing workout in and of itself. Whole body, cardiovascular. You guys can use this and pair it up with the two minute drill, the warm up, if you need a quick workout to get in and out. Just get after it, use it whenever you need to. We'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, great workout. It's time to cool down, stretch, and start to relax and bring our body back to a normal pace. Stretch is so important because it's gonna return our muscles to the proper length and get us ready to move forward the next time we wanna come back and train. So first exercise, we're gonna lay back. You're gonna bend the knee that's closest to me, and we're gonna do a hamstring swing. So you're gonna swing this leg up towards your chest. You're gonna grab behind your calf or your hamstring, whichever you can reach. We're just gonna make a nice easy stretch four times. Ready and go. We're gonna hold here and release. Up and release. Drive. So we want to keep our legs straight. Release. We're going to hold this one at the top. Keeping that knee straight. Really feeling the stretch in the back of our leg. And then let's pump our toe up and down for 10. Ready? Go. Good. Push and pull. That's it. By really extending our toe up and pulling it back. We stretch that calf, we stretch that hamstring. Good job, one more time. All right, let's switch it. So we're gonna bend the other knee. Let's go ahead and swing our leg up, go for it. Hold and release. Drive it up and release it. We have two more. Trying to keep that leg straight. Release. Last one. Hold here. Pulling that toe toward our shin to help stretch the hamstring and calf. Let's do those 10 toe pumps. Ready? Go. Drive and pull. There we go. Just relax, guys. Use your breathing to help you get settled. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. And as you breathe out, you're going to feel things release. We got one more here. Excellent. Let's drop our feet. We're gonna do a stretch called a knee hug. So you guys are just gonna bend the knee that's closest to me, grabbing behind, pulling it toward your chest, very relaxed. Go ahead. Hold there. And we're gonna alternate, go ahead. That's it. And we switch. We'll do 10 of these total. And this down leg here, just keep it straight. 
So we stretch out that hip flexor. And up top here, we're gonna be stretching our low back into our hips. Just concentrate on easy breathing, guys. Good. That's it. We're gonna go two more here. There we go. Last one. Excellent. From here, I just want you to bend the knee that's closest to me up in the air. We're gonna do a crossover stretch. So we're gonna take the other leg. Let's cross it over. Arms out to your side. Shoulder blades stay on the ground. And we're just gonna roll away into it. This is one of Jeremy's favorite stretches. It's mine too. It really just opens up the hip, low back into the ribs. Deep breathing, so breathe in, out, let it go a little deeper, and then let's switch to the other side. So here we go. We're just gonna cross the other leg over and drop it off to the side. That's it. Good, guys. We don't want any pain here. We just want nice, easy stretch through the outside of that body and up into our back. Keep those deep breaths. Okay, now we're gonna move into a bent knee stretch. So let's bring our legs up and extend them out. You're gonna pick up the leg that's closest to me, so let's go ahead and do that. You're gonna keep the knee bent, grabbing over the shin, and you're gonna pull toward your chest. The stretch is gonna focus out here in your IT band, as well as into your hip. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up that other leg and we're gonna go into a pretzel stretch to get deeper into our hip. So here we go, let's lift that other leg up. And we're gonna reach through the center and then around the outside and pull the knee toward the chest. We're gonna work on keeping that foot straight so we don't put any tension on our knee. And we're transitioning a lot of the stretch into this hip right here. Excellent. A few more seconds. Stay with it. And then let's switch on to the other side. So we'll put our feet back down. Let's bring up the other leg to that bent knee stretch. So we grab over, pull toward our chest. And this leg here, we're keeping it straight so that we can also get that hip flexor stretch on this side, as well as working the outside of this leg over here couple seconds we're going to transition into that pretzel here so let's go ahead and we're going to raise that knee up let's reach through and around pull it toward the chest I just want you guys to think about deep breathing here so stay with me breathe in breathe out and ask a little bit more from the stretch sink it into that hip good Let's stay here for about five more seconds. All right, now we're gonna come up to a seated position, so let's go ahead and come on up. We're gonna get on our sit bones, we're gonna keep our chest up tall, and we're gonna do a butterfly stretch. So we'll bring the soles of our feet together, pull the heels toward our body, and now we're just gonna let our knees fall away from us. Big chest. Be mindful of that breathing. Good. If you want to add to the stretch, all you have to do is push down through your elbows, and it's just going to make it a little bit deeper. Good. Let's stay here for a few more seconds. And now we're going to come up into a hip flexor stretch. So let's go ahead and come up to our knees. You're going to put the leg closest to us out in front of you and your heel is gonna be out past your knee. We're gonna stay up nice and tall, hands on our hips, shoulders facing where we're looking, as well as our hips, and we're gonna slide into that stretch. So go ahead. Staying tall through here. What I want you guys to think about now is tightening up your glute, tightening up your hip flexor and your core. Go ahead, squeeze, deep breath in, Breathe out, and if you need to readjust your foot, that's fine. 
And now we're really gonna sink that stretch into our hip flexor. Keep the chest up. Good. Just relax, keep your breathing. All right, we're gonna rotate to the other side, so let's go ahead and transition over. Let's put our heel forward. Get it past our knee, nice and tall, hands to our hips, and let's slide forward into it. Go on. Our breath is one of our most powerful allies in stretching. So now we're gonna squeeze our glute, squeeze our hip flexor and our core. Squeeze, deep breath in, out and sink. Good job. Just back to normal breathing here. Couple more seconds. All right, let's come out of that stretch. We're gonna go into a core series stretch, which is gonna be called cat. So we're gonna breathe in, we're gonna go to cow, we're gonna breathe out, and then we're gonna go up, driving our heels into the ground to downward dog. So here we go, stay with us. So we breathe in the cat, we breathe out the cow, long spine, drive up, heels to the ground, tailbone to the sky, weights in our shoulders. Relax here, stretch those hamstrings. Let's go back toward our knees, keep them an inch off the ground, holding through our core, nice flat back. Let's reset into cat. Exhale out into cow. Up to down dog. That's it, push those hips toward the sky. We got one more through here. Back, knees an inch off the ground. Let's reset. Here we go up into cat, breathe in. We breathe out into cow. And then go ahead and drive it up. Come on, really separate those hands from our shoulders. Get long through our spine and our hamstrings. Good job. So let's go to the floor. We're just gonna open up our back a little bit. So let's sit back toward our heels. Put our hands out in front of us. Let's go ahead and do that and just sit back and pull away from those hands. Just let it all go, fellas. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Now we're gonna come up and we're gonna put one arm underneath the other. So let's go ahead and do that. Come up, we reach through, we pull back away from that. Let's stay here for three, two, one, and come up to top. And then let's go back. We're gonna put the other arm through. Pull through. Excellent. And then let's come up to top. Good job, guys. You finished the stretch and you finished the body weight DVD series. We hope we've shown you that using your body weight is a great tool to get fit and to lose weight. You don't have to go to gyms. You can take them anywhere. And we'll see you again soon.